Today it's time for the first F123 My Team video. Let's go start our journey, start our season. I'm excited. I hope you are excited too. Smash the like button, subscribe if you don't want to miss this. And let's jump into the game. First, we have to choose our entry point. Of course, you can start as a newcomer with zero money, zero facilities and level one. You can go as a midfield challenger for level five, five million on the bank and all the facilities level one. Or as a champion contender with level 15, 10 million and level 2 facilities. But of course, we're starting as a newcomer and see how we can build our way up in the ranks. Alright, team full send us back. Let's enter the name. Alright, let's find a sponsor. Maybe a bit of a balanced one, not too OP, not too easy. And let's go for this one. Finish 10th or better. I think that's pretty easy to do. So let's go for this one. Next up, we have to choose the power unit. And we are going for the Red Bull, of course. And then we have 900,000 left for a teammate. What can we do here? Just not enough for Liam Lawson. That's a bummer. I have good faith in Dennis Hauger. So let's sign him into our team. This is our team. I think it looks pretty decent. Let's start the season. New year, new drivers, new team. Welcome and great to have you with us as we move far away from the paddock to the headquarters of the newest outfit on the Formula One grid. We've been granted exclusive access with an interview not just with the team owner or the star driver, but both. Because for the first time in modern F1 history, the team owner is behind the wheel themselves. Now is a great time to bring a new team into the sport, particularly off the back of such compelling competition last year. 2022 saw huge regulation changes and it was Red Bull who came out on top in the development race. But that was last year. This year could be a very different story. Let me tell you, this facility is an absolute hive of activity and there is a palpable sense of excitement around the car they've built. Quietly, they truly believe they can challenge at the top and they've had the time now to craft a hugely competitive race car. But theory is one thing and taking on the brightest lights in motorsport is quite another. So how does the owner of F1's 11th team feel as they prepare to be thrust into the limelight of the F1 circus? New driver lineups, Qatar returns, Las Vegas debuts and the engineering race continues to push the sport and the drivers to new heights. What are they aiming for? Most excited about, most nervous for? Well, soon we will meet them to find out. But first, let's take a look at the brand new car. I like my car a lot. <laughs> I think it's a good looking car on the grid. Well, hi. Thank you so much. Maybe for a bit busy with all the here. stripes, I'm but uh, with the question that let's go ahead asking. with some interview questions. How are we going to do it? Well, together we are unstoppable. We're going to focus on the chassis. So now we need to answer some questions based on the chassis and hopefully our uh, facilities will upgrade based on that. Yeah. Chassis okay. department noticed that. And drag reduction is also an important one. So um, let's see that we have our aero department on point. Another one for weight reduction. So our chassis department gets a little boost. And well, there we go. We give another little tap on the back for our chassis department. And then hopefully we'll get a little boost well, there. I could talk to you all day. Thank you so much for your time, but I've got to let you get back to work. There's plenty more still to do. All the very best for your inaugural F1 season. And here we can see the facilities. As you can see, we have the chassis at level one. So I'm very happy with that. We have 15 days till the season starts. So let's send our boy hogger on training camp we can use some extra cash let's do the merchandise sale and then we don't have any days left we have 1000 rd points so let's see if we can upgrade something here for the drag reduction oh it's so close maybe after the training we can buy something for the drag reduction for now we can buy something for the weight reduction so let's do that instead pastor <laughs> Oh my god, 82 rating. Do we need to get him in our team in the future? Let me know, he's 2.5 million. <laughs> These are the R&D standings now. 
We are ahead of Haas, Williams, Alfa, McLaren and Alfa Tauri. And Red Bull is far up ahead with Ferrari, Aston Martin and Mercedes. And Alpine is in the middle of nowhere. Let's start the season and we get some R&D points. Our money for the merchandise and our weekly resources in the bag. And of course the first update already fails. So let's do it again 0% failure chance for only 300 so that's a good one and we'll save up for the track reduction and of course we're doing quick practice well we got a lot of things done so let's end the practice and go to qualifying and we have our resource points and we got some boosts as well which make the upgrades cheaper for the next time we just qualified we are less unfortunately but we can hopefully make some places up in the race. Before we jump into the race, we're doing some drag reduction upgrades. And hopefully that will be done after Australia. And we have enough left for our engine power upgrade. So let's get that on the car too. That will be ready before Australia. Our race strategy is 9 laps on the soft and 11 on the medium with 20.6 laps fuel. Let's go for it. And there we go in our first F123 My Team race. Let's see what we can do from P22 on the grid. And I don't know, we need to upgrade something that these stars will go better. Because also in F1 World, the starts are absolutely awful. And let's see if we can overtake some cars here. We're going super slow in this corner. But at least we don't have damage. And we already have our teammates, Hauger, and another car, I think that was a Williams. We're just cruising down. Ooh, Hulkenberg fighting with the Vries. The sun is beautiful at the moment on the track. As you can see, it's setting. The Vries and Hulkenberg fighting hard. Can we send it here? Down, both of them. Yes, we can. Brilliant opening. Hopefully we can keep them behind us. Oh, they crash into each other. A little lockup from Piastri. All right, close to Zoe. Using overtake. Opening our wing. He wants to squeeze us here, but we're not letting that happen. Breaking late. And we got him. Nice overtake here on Zoe. Piastri and Tsunoda. Going side by side through these corners. Piastri opening his wing. Can he send it down the inside by Tsunoda? And... Yes, he can. He made it happen. Big lockup for Tsunoda. Did he... Did he damage his wing? I'm pretty sure Tsunoda has damage. So we will overtake him here on the straight. Piastri is driving off in the McLaren. Tsunoda is not pitting though. So the damage must be minimal. Maybe just a little bit on the front wing. Maybe an end plate. But we'll take that position and say bye bye. Oh, there's a yellow flag ahead of us. I see a red dot and Carlos Sainz is out of the session. Caution, caution. It is impossible. Ferrari struggling in the game as well as in the real season. Yuki Tsunoda has been chasing us down, but we're in the pit lane now for our stop. Let's see if we can get our time in right. And that's an optimal stop. Look at our pit crew. Looking good, looking good. And there we go again. Here's everybody else in the pit exit. Can we get Piastri here? Ooh. Oh, I switched to neutral. No. We are at least closer. So our pit stop worked. We have warm tires now, so we can send it here. Around the outside on Piastri. Oh, we are going too far. Not off the track though. There is open. Piastri has nothing to defend with. Can we do it here? Ooh, he almost shoots through the corner. Maybe we should have picked the other side. But we have another chance here. Going here for the inside line. Now we have the good side. Ooh. And that was a nice move without contact. So I'll take that. Uh oh, there's Piastri. We use our overtake, but we have no chance against him. 
Oh well. Let's see if we can get the position back again. Let's stay close to him. Oh yeah, boy. This is what I mean. But we're on the outside now. And I don't know. The car... Okay, PS3. You didn't have to bump into me, but... Sometimes the car just won't stop. Of course, we're playing with default setup at the beginning of the game. Since the game is in a review build. Oi. We're side by side here. Oh my. This is dangerous. Dangerous stuff, Priestry. Oh no, he has the DRS. And we have Tsunoda here as well. Now everybody is way too close and I put my whole P14 in danger. All but Piastri and Tsunoda are fighting. And it gives me some breathing air. That's brilliant. Oh, there is a yellow flag. There is an Alpha Tauri out of the race behind us. Is that Tsunoda? Or did he just get some damage from the fight with Piastri? Zoe is behind us. They're fighting hard there though. Sergio Perez is our race winner. We're bringing home P14 for the team and Hauger is not really near us. And there we go, I'm happy with the result. Here are the final results. As you can see, Hauger in P19, so not too bad. We are in P14 with zero points and also P10 with the constructors. That was the first episode of my team. Make sure to like, subscribe and comment and check out this other F123 video. Bye.